And I'm like, it comes in two minutes. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just get right. like, Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls say they might not. Hey, oh, I would rather pass that one to you. Like we just said. All right, y'all. Today's video, we are going to be reacting to Mr. Josue Vargas pranking Miss Leslie Inez. Telling my girlfriend she looks like a fat slob. Prank. Sorry, babe. All right. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell Uncle Joey. Still a host. Keep right into the video. Let's get you. See if this time works. Right now she's in the living room, laying down on the sofa, on the phone, and I'm gonna go up to her and I'm gonna tell her, "Baby, you ain't coming to the gym with me today. You getting sloppy. You getting fat. Oh. I don't like the way you you been looking, oh. and you get tired, bent, no wonder. So stay tuned." That that camera is always on a tripod in the same area. Crazy thing about it is some people get talked to this way, which is crazy as hell, bro. Like what? I'm not liking it. I'm sorry, but I'm not liking it. And I don't mean to come this way, but I just have to tell you straight up. Okay, and what about you? You're getting away too. Oh. Okay, but I'm still putting work in bed. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm well, but that's but that's what you think. Yeah, that's like what you think. In my eyes, I'm killing it. Oh, uh, what about how I feel? He don't care. He don't care, girl. <laughs> I'm ganging them. I just have to be straight up with you. That's cool. There's a way that you say it, you know? Like, it's okay to be transparent about that, but it's, it's just the way that you say it because it's a delicate situation. It's a delicate topic for a lot of women, you know? What do you expect from me? I love you and everything. I'm working out, I'm cooking. I'm cooking healthy meals today. I cooked a healthy meal, so. You're going to be on the right track. I am going to be on the right track. Now you like a fucking. I eat like a fat slob. I eat like a right? I eat once and I put it away. You're the one that eats, so give me no more. Give me no more. Give me no more. You do that. I don't do that. Yeah, but you've been, I don't know. Like I said, the way you've been in bed has been trapped. Oh. Oh, she be taking D. We saying it. Don't put that as a skew. That is 
devastated. pranks be staged and stuff like that you already know like some truth comes out that the other person wasn't expecting because I don't think Leslie was expecting him to say that like you know she got PCOS or whatever so I'm pretty sure that affects her in a different way let me know in the comment section down below I know a lot of women are experts in this field just like a lot of people are experts on shit that they're really not experts on but let me know if you really know something about PCOS if what she's saying is true like whenever you menstruate and stuff like that like Sometimes, you know, it hurts to have intercourse. And y'all already know she's sensitive about that anyway, like any woman would be. And for him to put that out there, it does feel like um, she didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Once or twice that I don't take it, it's a big problem. Like you forget about all the hundreds of billion times that we be intimate. Mm. Mm. That sounds like something somebody would say if he wants to like have an excuse to cheat on you, you know? Like you can't take it. I don't have to go with you to the gym and do cardio. I can go to my own gym and do cardio myself. But you eat mad lazy. So I have to do I don't eat lazy. I just go to the gym. Are you bugging? You don't go to the gym. Today that you decided Today I've been busy. You got your eye because you got your eyelashes before one Yeah. It took two hours. I thought she was going to take one Taking a day off from your ass is self care. Sloppy girl and stop getting tired. Stop going to be sloppy. Stop getting tired of bed because I'm not liking that bitch. And I'm sorry to tell you, I love you and everything, but at the end of the day, I don't want no girl that gets tired in two minutes. <laughs> and I don't want a baby that comes in two minutes. Oh. <laughs> Cause he's speaking is. Cause you're sloppy. That's why these pranks can be very dangerous. Because this that like they be bringing up shit in these pranks that be genuine concerns for them that they really don't sit down and talk about. You know, they really don't communicate effectively on it, and it just come out in a prank. You know what I mean? So it's just like, oh, what the? F you know what I'm saying? Like you've been thinking like this the whole time. I'm sloppy. <laughs> you 
get tired in one minute, two minutes. Why are you trying to hurt my feelings? I'm not trying to hurt you, man. I'm just being honest. Here you are. I'm just being honest, dude. <laughs> That's it. And you can take the D. <laughs> so you got five things. You can't take the D. Because you lost me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that doesn't make that does not make me say that you look like this, like that, like that. You played yourself. I just have to be honest and bring that up. I understand that, but that's the reason they say that. Instead of coming at me nice, wait, start going to the gym, you can't wait. Like, you not do more cardio. You don't go to the gym. Do you don't go to the gym. You do not go to If I tell you to go to the gym, you never listen to me. Because you've been looking sloppy, trash, fat, you get tired. <laughs> then you got it all. I'm pretty sure, like, she was like, damn, he actually telling the truth in this prank, which is why I say stay away from doing these pranks because they're dangerous to your relationship, bro. You know, if anything, sit down and have a regular conversation like two human beings, you know what I'm saying, and communicate on the subject instead of, like, letting this shit come out in these pranks. I'm sorry, I'm a cat. Guys, it's all a cat. Guys, it's a cat. I'm lying. Nah, bro. And she know he ain't lying about certain shit he said. Now, I don't think that he honestly feels like she's a fat slob and all of this stuff. It could be true, but I do feel like some of this stuff, like, oh, you can't take the D, and you this and that, and you don't, maybe, like, she doesn't go to the gym as much as he'd like and stuff like that. I don't really think that he views her as a fat slob, though, you know? But tell me what you're going to do come in two minutes. <laughs> maybe 60 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a prank. I really mean that. You, you really can't take me. You're being serious. Yes, he is. Yes, I can. But you're not fat. You're not sloppy. You don't get tired in bed. I'm capping about that. That's you're capping about D. One, one yeah, day, day, one day, two day. Let's see how my wife feel about that prank. How you feel about that prank, babe? Where's the ring at? I didn't like that prank at Where the ring at? I know you didn't. That's why I came up with that prank because I like, know you would like that. It was like definitely that. starting an argument that I didn't want to happen because I'm not one to stay quiet neither. If you can come at me, I'm going to come at you too. Mm, period. And I don't want our relationship to be period. argumentative or anything like that. So it kind of hurt my feelings because it's coming at me. But I'm, I'm capping. I love my wife. And obviously she's not fat. And obviously she not sloppy looking. Right, right. That's right. obvious. And she right. don't get tired, bad. I'm capping. If I come in two minutes, <laughs> that's fine. But you can't take D. But you can't take this. 
All right, man. Hey, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, bro. Like I said, these pranks are very dangerous because, like, I feel like a lot of people use these pranks to communicate certain things instead of actually communi communicating in healthy ways about these things, you know? So, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me the videos to react to it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that ain't your mom, but tell that Uncle Joey still a hall. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love you, man. Peace. We out, baby.